Hey YouTube, this is TechnoDS7. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a screen protector on your new iPhone 5. So, you can see I have the iPhone 5 here, and I uh, you want to put something, put, 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 you know, put something on the back side so it won't get scratched against the table or something because this is kind of a scratchable material. Um, so put something there, and then I did order about five screen protectors from eBay um, for about five bucks from China or something like that and you know you can get, always get those uh, Zach screen protectors but those are like over 20 bucks and um, this it, it, you know it's easier to install the Zach screen protectors um, and it has a little bit has some more features but these these definitely would do the job and they're a lot cheaper and they come in like packs um, <clears throat> so I kind of favor more generic screen protectors. Um, so let me get back to this. Uh, I'm gonna have this manual um, that came with the screen protectors, um, and I think it's pretty uh, helpful. I'm just gonna read you the first um, three steps. So, um, well, the first step is you want to have clean hands. Um, so wash your hands just so you remove any kind of uh, grease or sweat that's on your hands because uh, grease and sweat definitely create uh, fingerprints and smudges on your screen protector and your screen. Um, so after you wash your hands, which I already did, um, you're going to dust, well it's not actually, it says dust is your enemy when installing screen protectors. Okay, that's true, of course. Use a piece of cloth comes with the screen protector to clean the cell phone screen well. Clean until spotless, have a credit card and scotch tape handy. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of different ways of installing a screen protector. I just like the simple way, just a screen protector, maybe a cloth. You can use your shirt if you don't have a cloth. Um, and the device, of course. Um, you know, there's scotch tape way. I'm, it's a little bit confusing for me. Um, but, you know, this is just a simple way. Also, um, it says... A credit card or a squeegee card. Um, I don't like using those because they scratch. They tend to scratch my screen protector while I'm using them to push out the bubbles. Um, so I just like using my thumb or some other finger instead to push out the bubbles. Um, and then hold the screen protector by its edges during the entire process. If your fingers touch the sticky side, you are bound to get dust prints. Um, so now let's get started. Um, take out the cloth and start wiping off your iPhone. Let me zoom in for you guys. You know, you of course, get it spotless as it said. You don't want any kind of little piece of lint or dust or any kind of particle on your screen because otherwise, because once it's there, once it's installed, it's going to be there pretty much. It's going to be stuck under there. You can't really do much to help that. Yeah, so wipe it off really, really good. Take your time. Um, and uh, once you think that you wiped it off really good. Come on. Okay. Um, then you can pretty much start it. So, you know, get your screen protector. And also clean off your screen protector. And also make sure it, it is a pretty good fit, because um, especially for the generic screen protectors, um, they may accidentally give you a wrong screen protector, um, or they just missized it, you know, incorrectly. So once you think that it um, is a good fit for the device, which this is, um, you know, you can start um, using it. You can start install the installation process. Um, <clears throat> So, if, if this is, like, covered, like, right here, you know, you push those little things out, because I really don't like these things, you, they were in, it was in here, um, you don't want that in there, it just makes everything more complicated, just push those out before you start, um, and this particular screen protector has a whole opening here, so it should be a little bit easier, um, and I'm, okay, so, there's step one and step two, so, you know, let's grab step one. 
and you know hold on to the edge of the devices not in the middle because then you'll get screen protectors on the sticky side and, oh yeah also i forgot to mention take off any kind of case you have for your iphone um because that just gives you more space to work and you just have the correct alignments and yeah um so let's grab step one and figure out which side is the uh side that wants that wants to be on the screen which side is just a protector film layer um so this side this side right here wants to needs to be on the screen and this side is just a protector layer with the sticker on it um so therefore i can tell that we're gonna install it this way um so you know have i i prefer to have uh the device horizontally or vertically i'm not you know this way long ways um, because you just, it, it's easier to install it that way, um, than this way. Uh, so, let's get started. Um, so first you want to pull just the, um, just the beginning of the side. And it is more complicated because of, um, of this, uh, area over here. Uh, someone's calling, I have to put that um, hope you didn't see that number. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so just align it pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be at least pretty accurate. Alright, so once you think that is good, you can start peeling it off more and more like so and while you're painting it off use your hand or with your fingers to you know put it along with the screen the screen protector while still pulling this layer off and what you're doing by that is pushing out any kind of air that might be there damn it some people keep texting <sighs> um so you can see this is working pretty well again take off this layer while pushing the air out right like this and you know it isn't perfect obviously you can see here that you know the camera is like right on the edge of the screen protector but um, everything else seems pretty good and you know you're always going to be left with some bubbles um, so what you're going to do about those bubbles is just push them to the sides with your thumb or with a credit card a squeegee card like it said but again like I said that um uh, that, uh, yeah, I don't like using squeegee or credit cards because it scratches your screen protector while you're installing it. So, push out all those bubbles as hard as you can. Some bubbles will just keep forming back, and some bubbles will just not disappear. I mean, that's okay, you can't make everything perfect. Um... So, so far, this looks pretty good. You can see that just easily disappear if you push them to the sides. Okay. There's this one. Like, this one is not pretty much... It's probably not going to uh, go away anymore. Yeah, it's going to stay there. But again, it's on the side, and it's not on the actual screen, so it's not really a big deal for that in that case. And pretty much everything else is really good. Um, so yeah, uh, let's start peeling the second layer off, and that will relieve or leave the first layer off. So what you want to do is grab this, the second sticker, and instead of pulling it up, you want to pull it the opposite direction, like towards the top of the device, top of your iPhone, um, just because the sticker, when you pull it up, it tends to try to pull up both layers, and that way you're just left from the beginning, you don't have a screen protector, and you, you can't really put it back because it's messed up, so you're going to want to pull it, um, yes, towards, you know, that way, not upwards, so you can see, it comes off pretty easily, and so we're left with these two um, trashy thin layers of 
and then this is the actual screen protector and it's not too visible it looks like invisible invisa shield it's not invisa shield it's just some generic screen protector but anyway it's pretty much invisible except for this bubble so it looks like you don't even have screen protector on um but yeah this is going to be definitely protected i have tested these uh screen protectors and not this particular one but i'm talking about generic screen protectors um and they do work pretty well they are very protective um and so um and this isn't really necessary because the iphone 5 is i've seen a bunch of drop tests with the iphone 5 and it's just super super strong um, it just, it takes forever to try to crack it, even from, like, 12 feet on a hard surface. Um, it's just, they, they really made it, um, I think it's corny Gorilla, Gorilla Glass too, but it is really good glass, and so you don't really have to worry about that, really, really worry that much about scratches or cracks if you drop it, um, but this just guarantees that you won't get any scratches or cracks, um, on your iPhone. So this is like super protection, and if you got a Zach screen protector, it would be like ultra ultra protection, almost like an uh, indestructible phone. It does not have Kevlar on the back like the droids do, though, so it's not bulletproof. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. You can see barely any bubbles at all, um, and fairly line, you know, not perfect, but it is pretty good. So if you have any questions or comments, please post. And I just showed you guys how to install a screen protector on your iPhone 5. Thanks for watching.